what's up everybody, David Wood here for David Wood FX to bring you another awesome tutorial. This time a short After Effects tutorial on an old effect that I did on a previous channel, but that channel has since been closed down. So I thought I would re-upload this tutorial in better quality and with a much better microphone than my previous one. In this tutorial we're going to be creating this kind of a spooky effect. We'll take a look at that right now. Here we go. And as you can see, it's this uh, ghost uh, kind of text. And it moves around and it has this wavy pattern to it, along with some clouds in the background and a little bit of camera move. So, let's go into After Effects and get started. First thing I'll do is I'm going to create a new composition. I'm just going to use the NTSC DV preset. My frame rate is going to be 15 because that's the frame rate of my screen recorder. And of course, depending on what camera you use, we'll change exactly what that is. But it's just going to be five seconds long. And we're going to create a new solid and make it comp size. It's going to be black. We'll go to layer, new, solid again, make another black layer. And this time we're going to go to effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. And in here we want to lower the contrast and then the brightness. We just want something kind of hard to see. So like that should do it. So I'm using a setting of 12 and negative 45 for that. And then we'll hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch to add an expression. And we'll type in time times 100. And then we'll twirl down the transform options. And in here we'll start at the beginning. And we'll set a keyframe for the offset turbulence. And then we'll move to the end. And we'll just move that over to the right a little bit. So that way it will change and animate over time. Move that over a little bit more. And that's all we're going to do in this comp right now. Now we'll create another new composition and we're going to make the settings for these 500 by 200. And we'll take the text tool and we'll write out whatever it is we want our text to say. So I'm just going to put in spooky and over in the options we're going to have the fill set to none and the stroke we're going to select this light green blue and we can center our word like that and then select that and duplicate it by hitting control D and the second one will take that stroke color and we're going to make this a little more pure blue so about there Next what we'll do is we'll create a new solid black layer and this is going to be our background so put that below the text and now we can apply an effect to the first text layer. We'll go to effect, distort, turbulent displace and as you can see it made it all wobbly and we're just going to turn the size down to 50 and the amount to 35 and then we'll Alt click on the stopwatch and add the same expression as we did to the fractal noise. So time times 100. And so as it moves it will warp and uh, kind of gives it this jello effect. And then we'll duplicate the effect by hitting control D. And on the second one we're going to turn the size down to 3 or 4. Make this really small and we'll turn the amount up to 65 and if we turn off the first turbulent displace we can see exactly what that does so it just kinda gives it a cool effect along with the other one and so over time they both animate as if it was like written by a ghost or something and then we can take those effects and select both of them by holding down the shift key and hitting control C to copy and then we'll paste them on our other text layer with control V now, doing this, we see a slight problem. It applied the effect the exact same way, so it overlaps, and you can't see the effect beneath it. So what we'll do is we'll go to the first turbulent offset, or turbulent displace, and we'll choose the offset settings. And we're just going to move this a little bit by, like, 10. It doesn't matter which one we move. We could either move the horizontal or the vertical. Just move it by 10. And this will just offset it just enough that as it plays through, you can see the difference in there. And set the blend mode of the top text layer to add. And so now as it goes through, you can see the two colors 
get in there and get kind of goopy. It's just a little bit of a change up, just to make it look cool, just like that. Alright, I made that a little too high. There we go. And just play around with the settings and see how it looks until you find something you like. Then we'll create a new adjustment layer. And we'll go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur. And in here we'll blur this by 15. Not 150, 15. And set the repeat edge pixels on. And we'll go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And in here we want to go to the blue channel and bring that up. Go to the red channel, bring that down. And maybe add just a little tiny bit of green in there. Just so it's not a darker blue, like in here we want it to be a slightly cooler blue. But uh, not too much. And we'll set the blend mode of this layer on screen as well. By the way, if you don't see the mode, the blending mode here, you can hit the toggle switches or you can hit the F4 key and that will switch between them as well. So once that's done, we can go back to our other comp and we can just drag and drop our text into this and set the blend mode on screen. And that is what our effect looks like so far. And it's coming along pretty nicely. Now, to uh, finish this off, we're going to create another adjustment layer right below the text. And we'll apply curves to that as well. And we'll do the same thing. We'll bump up the blue and lower the red. And maybe add a little bit of green in there. And then we'll play with the RGB and we just want to darken it up some more. And of course we can also do that in the fractal noise settings, but the curves just gives us a little more control over the final result. So, just play around with that until you get something you like. I think that looks pretty good right there. And you can see it animating. You can try placing it above the text. It usually makes the glow much more saturated and more vibrant. So I like the I like the glow a little pale. So what I do is after I do that, I just apply a quick glow to the text. And that'll make it brighter, of course. And then you can play around with the glow intensity and move that down to like 0.5. But it'll just make the text a little more uh, vibrant. And that is basically all there is to this tutorial. In my other example here, what I did was I took the cloud layers and I added a elliptical mask by double clicking on it. And you can see it put the edge there. And then I took the mask and I feathered the edge by around 80 to 100. And then I lowered the expansion a little bit and then turned the feather up more. So that way it didn't have any sharp edges. And then I moved them around in 3D space with a camera. And I set the text to be with a camera as well. So if I just quickly make a camera and make these 3D. And now I can orbit around them like that. And just placing them in 3D space uh, gives it a pretty cool effect. And I'll link to a tutorial on Video Copilot that you can check out that has more about uh, placing objects in 3D space, especially smoke elements, just to give it more of an atmosphere. And uh, that is all there is to that effect. So, I hope you guys liked it. You know, hopefully you guys can find a use for it in your projects. It's a pretty cool little effect. And I guess that is it. So, I'm David Wood, David Wood FX, and I will see you guys next time.